All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be not necessarily on this knife in particular, but on this pattern. Um, and this is the Gradation Cutlery number 23 pattern. Uh, so first of all, don't forget, check out my uh, website and blog at knifethoughts.com, as well as my Instagram and Facebook, and I'm on Reddit and Tumblr somewhat, uh, and uh, even Twitter, a little bit at knife thoughts so uh, whatever social media you prefer check out knife thoughts um and i wanted to do a video on this pattern uh and i actually have done a previous video that i i didn't end up posting because i've kind of been aware for a while that this pattern was going to be run or made by greatest cutlery in 2020 uh and I am excited about it, so I wanted to make a video to kind of tell people, let people know and everything. Um, but I talked with Bill before uh, Thanksgiving, and he said, it, you know, it wasn't out there yet not to tell people. Um, so I didn't, I, I always, you know, sometimes I, I know things before they're public, uh, you know, just from being part of clubs and things like that, forums, and uh, I always want to make sure that I don't make things public before they're supposed to be. Uh, but sometimes it can be pretty difficult. Um, but I, I did wait to post that video and this video is replacing that video um, because I wanted to make sure that it was okay to, to put it out there. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video now and I think that it is okay now is two main things. Uh, first, actually a while ago, like, I think December, maybe even earlier, um, 2019 that is, uh, the Oregon Knife Collectors Association, the OKCA, uh, posted or, or I think sent out a newsletter saying with a, with a mock-up drawing of their 2020 club knife saying that it would be a 23 pattern knife from Gradation Cutlery. Uh, and someone who's in that group posted that on Blade Forums with, in a thread saying that, you know, GEC is making Trapper Knives in 2020. And so it kind of got out there before I think necessarily Bill wanted it to. Uh, at this point in January, late January of 2020, um, now the Allegheny Mountain Knife Collectors Association Club, which I'm a part of, is also having their knife on this pattern and sent out their letter uh, or email um, asking for who was gonna buy it and stuff. So I think it's it's out there enough at this point that I can you know, make a video talking about this pattern. Uh, so that's why I'm making this video now and uh, why I've waited to, to you know, necessarily make this video. And um, I'm excited to finally be able to talk about this pattern. Um, and be able to say again that the Allegheny Mountain Knife Collectors Association is going to be making their club knife on this pattern. It's going to be a uh, natural dyed bone, meaning it won't be jigged like this. Uh, it will have kind of, to, to put it one way, the natural topography of the bone, uh, but polished and stuff, similar to like a primitive bone, if you've seen that from Gradish Cutlery, I think, maybe a little bit less of that primitiveness but um, something like that, and it's going to be, uh, according to Bill, in an antique autumn type uh, color. I don't really have a good knife to show to uh, as an example, but darker in this main area, and then where it's polished to meet the bolsters, it'll be a little bit lighter yellow. And then also uh, the, the the place where that is held, the Shaner Sportsman's Club, uh, is is planning to have a club knife done on this pattern also. But um, the details on that aren't 100% set. So let's talk about what this pattern is. The 23 pattern is uh, actually based on the uh, an old Remington Jumbo Trapper. So it's a Remington Square Tang Jumbo Trapper that is a really sought after and traditional design. Uh, they were first run or made by Remington in the very early 1900s. And those original Remingtons in good shape can go for very, very high prices. Um, there's actually a 
collector in the, the club that I go to who, who collects Rem original Remingtons, and they can go up into the, you know, uh, thousands of dollars pretty easily. Um, so it's a sought after pattern and it's a very traditional pattern. And like I said, it's a jumbo trapper. So just to give you a comparison, I'm going to give you some more size comparisons here also, but to a classic case trapper, this is the case full size trapper, you can see that it has a really similar handle shape. It has this swell uh, in the center uh, uh, with the, this bump here. It uh, comes up to a wider area at the butt of the handle and a thinner area up at the top. The uh, 23 is a square. This is a little bit more rounded uh, with what is called, um, I'm forgetting the name, I think cam tang, but uh, you can see the difference here. And so you can see that this is a large trapper. It's called a jumbo trapper. It's both longer and taller in the handle as well as wider, a good bit wider, both two bladed. Um, so it's a large knife. To compare it to another case here, this is the Case Barlow, the vault knife from 2019. And you can see that the Jumbo Trapper is quite a bit bigger. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a couple other GEC knives, just to give you a good idea of the size here. This is a number 98 Texas Camp Knife. Uh, I believe that the 98 is the largest knife in length, uh, folding knife in length that Grady's Cutlery has done. Might be wrong on that, but it's a very large knife, and you can see that it is a little longer than the Jumbo Trapper, but the Jumbo Trapper feels quite every bit as hefty, I think, overall, in weight and everything. Uh, another good comparison, another large knife, and this is actually the 2019 club knife for the Allegheny Mountain Knife Collectors Association, is the number 97. So this is a, another large GEC. Uh, this is antique yellow jigged bone. Uh, so not necessarily the same color that, that the uh, 2020 will be made in, um, but maybe close. Uh, again, this is antique yellow. The 2020 knife uh, will be antique autumn, and it won't be jigged like this handle is. But you can see that the, the 97 is a little longer, but again, because of the two blades on the 23, it's a little heftier overall. Uh, one more here from Gradation Cutlery for now uh, is the 15 pattern. This is one that probably um, the most people are familiar with. It's a, uh, uh, you know, smaller jack. This is actually the TC Barlow, but you can see it's a good bit smaller than this 23. So it's, it's a large knife for sure. And it even gets up into the size of some modern knives. So this is a Spyderco Andorra. And you can see the Andorra is a little longer, but the Andorra is significantly thinner and lighter because of the, you know, synthetic handle material and it's only a single blade. Uh, here is a Benchmade large Griptilian. The Griptilian's bigger, you know, it's actually about the same width. It's a lot lighter, um, but you know, you can see how it's kind of getting towards that size of a modern full size, what you call might call tactical, uh, although not necessarily any of these are that tactical, but you know, that's kind of the word that people use. Here's a Rat One, Ontario Rat One. So you can see again, getting towards that size. And finally, one that's a little smaller, more of an EDC type modern knife is the Native 5. So you can see that, that the Jumbo Trapper, the 23 is a good bit bigger than that more EDC sized Native 5. Um, so you can see that, you know, that there's good reason for it to be called a Jumbo Trapper. It's a very large knife. And it's also called a trapper other than because of the handle, uh, uh, handle the frame shape, because it has two full-size main blades. So on the case and on generally a uh, more traditional trapper, not more traditional, but like what most people think of as a trapper, it has a clip point and a spade blade. Uh, the GEC 23 pattern has been done on several different uh, with several different blade shape combinations, but 
the ones that they're making in 2020 are two blade with the same blade shapes as this, which is a drop point for the mark side blade. And then a spay blade or spay point for the pile side blade. And you can see this, this is Mark Model 23 on the edge. It actually doesn't have the tang stamp number system. It just says 2006 because this is uh, probably the 95th knife that, that Grayish Cutlery made. Um, this video, again, isn't necessarily on this knife, but this is a pretty cool knife. It's a very early GEC, um, and I would like to do an article at some point on this knife. But um, you can see that it has that those two main blades, two full-size blades, the drop point and the spade blade, and that's what uh, GEC is doing in 2020, um, unless they have you know more tricks up their sleeve, which... Uh, it's always possible for sure, but uh, as far as now, this is the only blade shape combinations that are out there that are being done in the um, in 2020. And uh, I think that this is the very traditional, you know, blade shape combination, uh, the the drop point and the spade blade for this jumbo trapper, because it's what they came in from Remington, I think for the most part, and it's what GC has done in the past. But I do think that at, for a using knife, uh, it is a little bit more practical for them to be a single blade. The reason just being for that is just because the, the two blade, it does get pretty thick and you know heavy. Uh, a little bit more difficult to carry in the back pocket like I like to, but you could carry it next to your wallet in the front pocket or, or you know something like that, even in a belt pouch or something. Um, so... I think that these two blades are certainly very capable kni knives. I mean, you have a whole lot of blade shape, or I'm sorry, edge available to you here. You know, you could definitely do some work with this knife before you needed to sharpen it, but it is a little bit more hefty and difficult to carry. Uh, one thing I, I mentioned is a square tang. You can see what that means is that the tangs come all the way to the top. And that's kind of one of the hallmarks of the, the classic or the original Remingtons that differ from most slip joint knives and including most trappers. Now, one thing to, to that I was aware of is that the, the blades tend, or I'm sorry, the springs tended to sit low at half stop, but not at full open or full closed. On these earlier runs, um, I, I think that they're they're trying to fix that for this run in 2020, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so that that's an interesting thing is that if you have one of these older 23s, you probably notice that the, the springs do sit a little bit low at half stop, uh, but they're trying to fix that for this run in 2020, I believe. Again, some of this stuff, you know, who knows how, how it will all come to fruition and everything, but that's what I think is happening. <laughs> um, so it's a really cool pattern. It's a very traditional pattern, and it's a very hefty pattern. It definitely could be used as a hunting knife, you know, for like the Shaner Sportsman's Club. I think it's a great knife to have made for them because it is so uh, well suited for a, a working knife, an outdoor knife. Um, it also has a smaller brother or smaller cousin that GEC makes, which is the number 73 pattern. This is another really cool knife that I would like to do a full article on, just haven't yet, but hopefully soon. Uh, this is a 2007, so another older knife. Let's get it out, hopefully. And uh, one of the really interesting things about this knife is its handle material. It's a... Uh, ivory colored casein which casein is a uh, very early plastic uh, or ivory replacement made from a protein found in milk and this as you can see is the same shape as the 23 just smaller now the reason i'm getting this knife out and showing is to show you you know the difference this is a smaller knife um in the past often when they have made 23s 
They have also made 73s. Uh, I was looking on GEC's website. Uh, you see that this also has the drop point on the mark side and the spay blade on the, the pile side. And this is a 2007 made knife. Uh, this probably, but um, you know, it's hard to be sure, but this probably means this was the 10th uh, number 73 pattern made by GEC. Um, but they have often run the 73s after they run 23s. Now I was looking into it and it looks like they actually made 23s, whether it was a full run or, you know, some of them were liner locks, some of them were bull locks and things like that, single blades versus double blades, but they did them in 2000, from 2006 to 2013. And I don't believe they've done them since 2013. So they haven't, you know, made these uh, 23s for about seven years, six or seven years. So I think they're due for more, even though they did make them, you know, four or six years or so, five or six years from 2006 to 2013. Um, but like I said, in, in, not necessarily in all of the times that they ran 23s, did they run uh, 73s? I, I didn't check for all of them, but for many of them or several of the times that they have run 23s, they've also done 73s. And you can see this, it's a smaller pattern, a little bit more pocketable. They have done some single blade 73s, which I think are even more pocketable. And, you know, if you're using, let's say this, this drop point without the, the secondary, well, it doesn't really bother my grip too much actually having that secondary blade because it is a wider handle knife. But anyway, they, they do often run these. I just wanted to show this as a size comparison to the 23. Um, not that, you know, I'm not saying that they're running these this year or anything like that. Just honestly, I have both these knives and I really like both of them and I'd like to show them in a video and do an article on them. So I wanted to show this 73 at the same time and use the uh, fact that they often do run 73s after 23s as an excuse to show it. So um, keep an eye out for articles on both of these knives, specific knives, not necessarily the patterns, but the specific knives, and hopefully I'll be able to get them out soon. But this is the GEC 23. Like I said, I've been looking forward to this uh, run of the run of these that GEC is doing in 2020 for, for a while, and I'm excited that now the clubs are announcing that they're coming, and it, I think it's okay for me to, you know, make a video saying that they're coming. Um, it's a very traditional pattern, a big um, favorite with collectors, I think, as well as it would be, like I said, a great using knife for someone who really needs a sturdy outdoor knife. So if you're interested in a Jumbo Trapper, 2020 might be the year for you because GEC uh, is doing them. So I don't know any of the other handle materials or anything like that that's going to be coming out. I just know that the um, OKCA is doing it as they pretty much always do with um, a brown jigged handle with the beaver tail shield and the AMKCA is doing it in a natural dyed bone handle with the bear shield. Both of those versions are two blade so it seems like the whole run is going to be two blade but I'm not sure what other handle materials they will have. Um, but I'm excited for it and I hope you are too. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. Uh, really excited about that. I've been making videos for, I don't know, over a year at least, maybe two years, um, not sure. But I have a lot of videos and uh, it's exciting to be hitting that milestone here soon. So uh, please do subscribe if you enjoy my, my videos and hit the bell for notifications. Also, as always, check out my social media, all of it at Knife Thoughts and uh, my website at knifethoughts.com. And don't forget to go out and do good.